So I want to come on and talk today about relationships and what prompted me was a question that my partner asked me yesterday after we'd had a breakdown, a breakdown in communication the night before. And he said to me, do you think you're good at relationships? Now in the past that would have completely triggered me and my response to that question would have been, no, I'm not good at relationships because I had a story running having been the one, hey Georgia, nice to see you here because I was the one that broke down or broke off the long my long-term marriage so I accepted that or I took that on as I am actually no good at relationships but in that moment my response was very different and in fact actually just going back I have heard the words come out of my mouth in the past to my very close friends I don't think I'm very good at relationships but since I've separated, I've done a lot, a lot of inner work and a lot of inner healing around my relationship with self and my relationship with my, the younger parts of me that have felt lonely, abandoned, rejected, not seen, unloved. And so when I responded in that moment saying to my partner, yes, I am good at relationships, what I wanted to, what I really want to define is what I believe makes us good in relationships or what for me, and that is my commitment. I am deeply committed to coming or returning to love. I am deeply committed to taking full responsibility for my part in a breakdown of a relationship. I'm deeply committed to knowing that conflict conflict when done well, when, well, when done in a healthy way, that we can actually communicate and return to a deeper connection. And I am committed to using conflict for that, to deepen my relationships with others. I am deeply committed to being, as I said, returning to my heart, seeing the other person, stepping into the other person's shoes, coming from a place of love, being deeply compassionate, for that person because obviously in the breakdown I have been triggered and the other person's generally triggered and so I'm unable to see in that moment how be able to see from a higher perspective but because of all of this stems from because my relationship with me is good my relationship with me gets better and better each day I love myself just that little bit more every single day and so that actually makes me a really good person in relationship because I'm kind and compassionate most of the time towards myself, which makes me more able to do that for another. I'm more present for me, which makes me more present for others. I'm more heartfelt. I feel things deeply so I can feel into and feel what's going on for another. The other thing I just want to just mention because my boys were having a go at me about something saying, you know, anyway, it doesn't really matter. but. What makes us good in relationships doesn't mean that we're not going to fall down, doesn't mean that there's not going to be breakdowns in, in, in communication, doesn't mean that we're not going to say things that aren't so loving, but it's our ability to restore them and clean it up and be committed to cleaning it up and not brushing it under the carpet and not um, ignoring or avoiding because it's those moments, those, those times where we don't choose to restore and clean up conflict that they grow they mount those unspoken arguments those those unspoken looks they they get bigger and bigger and and to a point for many couples where they feel it's impossible to come back into connection and to restore a love that they had for themselves previously so i really just felt called to speak to that and again, this is something I'm currently working with a few clients on. It is a major part of the work and it's incredible to witness these women, I'm thinking of two in particular, these women that as they are completely shifting their relationship with themselves in front of my eyes, that the relationships that were the way that they were are changing it's astounding, it can't not happen when our relationship with ourselves becomes more compassionate, more accepting, more generous, more present, more loving, then we are that. 
for our partners. We are that for our kids. We are that for our community. We are that for those that don't like what we do or say or, yeah. And especially in a climate today, our ability to hold true and firm and grounded and loving in who we are allows us to be that example for others and the world at large, which is what we need more than anything right now. So are you good in relationships? Would you like to be good in relationships? I would love to hear from you if this is something that speaks to your heart and you are really, really, really ready to do the work to make your relationships fulfilling, healthy, loving, thriving. DM me and uh, we can chat. Okay, much love to you on this Monday afternoon. Bye for now.